Hiya and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be I, I, yeah, asking Mike some questions that he doesn't even know at the moment. <laughs> Go for it. So these questions are what women would like to ask men. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. So you got to give the, like, truth, the most the, truthful oh, answer. Right, okay, cool. So, question number one. Question number one. What is so good about boobs? What is so good about boobs? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's just good to hold, like, they just feel good. They just, it's just like we ain't got, is it? Do you know what I mean? We ain't got them. Yeah. So it's just good to. So it's because you've not got them that they're more <laughs> yeah. fascinating. Yeah, of course. Like, so... it's always nice to have, like, a good pair of boobs, isn't it? Yeah. So, I okay. like you when I got you. <laughs> What's the biggest turn off that a girl can do? <sighs> the biggest turn off that a girl can do? Um, I think come across too laddie. Okay. So when they try and be too much of a lad. Yeah. And then it just. Do you know what I mean? They try and be. They, 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 I'm all for banter and I'm all for laddish banter. Yeah. But when they try and be too laddish, it's a bit like, okay, wind it in now, because it's not you. So if they're, t more so if they're trying to be something they're not. Yeah, if you're trying to be something that Like you if you're trying to be into things that men are into just to be, just because you think it's going to make a man, impress, like impress a man. Yeah, so... If you're trying to be something you're not, yeah, that's it's, the biggest turn it's, off. it's definitely a turn off because it's you can see through it. Like when someone's trying to be something they're not, you know, yeah, you just know. So it's like, yeah, that's not attractive. Okay, so the biggest turn off is someone trying to be something they're not. Yeah. So next question: Do all vaginas feel the same inside? Oh. Yeah. They like, all do feel the same. It's been such a long time since I've been inside a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't, it's hard to answer that question because I can't, I've got nothing to compare it to instantly. If I had two to dip in and dip out of and give it, uh, yeah, okay, they're both the same. But like, you must know if there's been a difference. So obviously when you met me, I'd had a baby, so was my... Did my vagina feel different to say someone who hadn't had a baby? No, I don't think it did. No. Honestly, no, I don't I don't think it did. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Is that good or <laughs> <laughs> makes me feel better. <laughs> right. Why do men have to have a look at a woman where they will pass them? I I actually know the real reason for this. Okay. I actually know the real reason for this. It's a bit geeky, but Normally, within like 0.3 of a second, a man has already decided whether he would sleep with the woman or not. Literally, from the first 0.3 of seeing a woman for the very first time. And also, men, the first time they see a woman, they see her more beautiful than when they keep seeing her over and over again. I the more time they see her, they the, the, the beauty... Lessons. Yeah, lessons, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, so they, not to say they ain't beautiful or whatever, but when they see them, it's because they've initially caught the eye and they see more than like what the they... overall. Yeah, they see more overall. And then they start picking out the bits yeah, that could yeah. be wrong if yeah. they were to see them again and again and yeah, again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. But it's also like, it's nice to look at. Yeah. Everyone can appreciate good looking can't they yeah so it's when you see when you walk past and you see someone good looking you will look Even at them more at them. than say someone walking that isn't good looking yeah why do men always tell little lies uh, you mean why do I always tell <laughs> little lies <laughs> I think all men tell little lies uh, in the hope that we can get away with it <laughs> and then if we get away with it 
it's all good. It's all but happy. you never get away with it. No, you don't get away with it, then it's all shit. But that's why I don't get why why they tell me. Because we lies. want to avoid the shit. So and we then think, you get more shit. Yeah, but if when we, we want find to, out that you've lied. Yeah, but if we just if you just don't ask questions, then you're all right. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. Don't know. <laughs> We're like the FBI, women are, so yeah, they can always ask a million questions and yeah, you're not going to yeah. get away with it. Cool. Do men still find you attractive when you're pregnant? Yeah. I still found you attractive when I was pregnant. When, you, when I was pregnant? <laughs> when you was pregnant. But is there anything that you think, oh... No, do you know what? No, not really. Like, um, if anything, but you never really had it, maybe like swollen feet and ankles, stuff like that, it's a bit of a... bit. Bit gross, <laughs> like for me anyway. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of that. But, yeah. Yeah, for you, there's nothing about a pregnant body that. No, because I still, I still wanted to sleep with you. Yeah. Like when you were pregnant, I never found you. But do you feel like it's unattractive because I felt unattractive? Like, could you tell that? What's unattractive? Like I didn't feel attractive when I was pregnant, so. Yeah, but that didn't change how I felt about you. Yeah. I still found you attractive. Yeah. Like, it, it never changed. Like, right. even when you were at the biggest. Do you think other men would find it, an, like, women not attractive when they're pregnant? Or do you think because yeah, they're I, grey I and they your baby? So. But... Uh, do you know what? Like, you can't speak for everybody. And I guess there's going to be people out there that are going to find a pregnant woman unattractive. Yeah. But, for me... And I think for most people, if you're having a baby with someone, you love that person. So it's, you're not just doing it for the sake of it. Yeah, you're doing it so because you love them. So you're doing it because you love them, so... And when that woman's growing your child, it's got to be more attractive. Yeah, like, it doesn't, it never changed, like, no. through that whole time. Just the arguing. Why, why do some men not want to go down on a woman? I, don't, I can't answer that question because I love it. So, yeah, no, you do. But if, like, does, have you ever like spoke to any other men that don't like it, and they told you the reason why they don't like it? No. Um, no, I don't. I, I've never spoke to anyone who doesn't like it. Because like, they like cock. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> but I just I couldn't I couldn't imagine not liking it. It's one of my favourite things to do. So. Yeah. <laughs> do men hate it when their friends say they're under the farm and does that make you rebel against it <laughs> <laughs> right um yeah no man wants to be under the farm it's, yeah. it's a bit of an insult to be called under the farm yeah so but deep down you like being under the farm Deep down, being under the thumb is alright. Yeah. It's alright. <laughs> but You never want to admit that to your friends. It's gotta be balanced, isn't it? So you can't like as being under the thumb As in having like I think that doing, being and, under and, the thumb is just having respect. Yeah, it's being under the thumb but it's just like appreciating that okay, yeah, look, I've been out a lot, maybe I should spend some time with her. She's let me do a lot of things. Maybe I should do this for her. Yeah. She's bought me loads of stuff. Maybe I should buy this for her. Yeah, that's a bit selfish of me. I won't do that. So there's there's being under the thumb in that in that sense where it, it's that's okay. But being under the thumb where it's like, no, you're doing this, and you've got to do it now, and it's degrading. Yeah. yeah. That's not that's not what we want. So that's. Yeah. That, that's where it, that's where the there, fine line. there is yeah there's a fine line between being under the thumb in a cool way and being under the thumb in a bad way yeah okay next one do men actually like all the plastic surgery looks less is more so for me i don't mind bigger lips not the but i, I don't like the extreme yeah so like having stuff done that you would not be able to tell yeah so subtleness much. yeah you know, like so yeah i don't mind bigger lips but i don't want the biggest lips i don't mind big boobs but i don't want the biggest boobs yeah i don't mind a bum but i don't want the biggest most extravagant bum going do you know what yeah. i mean like i don't want 
liposuctioned waist right down to fucking here and then yeah. right back out to hips out here. No, you want a nice female. Yeah. Female. So, I Would don't think... Would you say think... that was the majority of men? Yeah, I, th I think I would. I, I would because I don't think men... Men use it as... Oh, I feel like men, when you get the comments and stuff on, on TikTok or Instagram, I feel like men use it as a weapon because they feel like a woman is insecure about themselves because they're doing that. Mm -hmm. So if they pick on that, it's going to chip away at them. Yeah. Um, but I, I personally think that the men that are saying that, if the shoot, if if you were then to say, well, look, do you want to come and sleep with me? They'd, They'd be yeah. like, fuck it, yeah, all right then. Yeah. They ain't going to say no. So. Exactly. Yeah, I, I think that they, they use that as a weapon to try and dismantle you. But yeah, reality is they're lying themselves. Yeah. They love it. <laughs> <laughs> How do men actually talk about women when they first meet someone? How do, how do men... So like when you first met me, like yeah. if you was like, if say you was in a group chat, how would you speak about me? Or how do like oh, your it, boys it, talk about girls? It really, do you know what? It really depends on how we see the girl. Okay. So if we see the girl as... A relationship? Yeah, someone who's ge who, who is genuinely a prospect, like as genuinely a uh, like relationship material, you're treating with a bit of respect. Whereas yeah. if they are just a fucking chuck, yeah. then it's a bit like... You would speak about Yeah, not you'll, ju you'll just there. banter off it, you'll yeah. have a fucking laugh about it, it'll be, oh yeah, she's fucking great at giving head, well, yeah, it comes like blah, 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 do you know what I mean? You'll yeah. just, you, you won't necessarily care how you speak about yeah. her because she doesn't mean anything to you. So if she means more to you, you won't say anything bad. bad. But yeah, I, could, I, I didn't say anything about our sex life at the beginning. So yeah. Yet, like, I didn't want anybody knowing yeah. like, what we got up to. Like, yeah, I was, I was just it's like... Respectful. Yeah, respectful. You'd be glad to know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you care if a girl is shaved or unshaved? Uh, no, don't care. But I do prefer shaved. So if you met someone and you was going to have sex with them and they had a hairy bifter, you would still be like, oh yeah, nice. If it, well, how hairy are we talking? Just hairy. Just hairy? Yeah. Well then I wouldn't be going down on it. So it would make you go, oh. Yeah, it would, yeah, ma it so would make you... Yeah, so you definitely prefer shaved. Yeah, definitely. Well, I said I prefer shaved. But, but if I it's wouldn't... like just a little bit in a relationship and like you just getting a bit of stubble, it's not too bad. No, not at all. That doesn't, that doesn't bother you at all. But like, at if, all. if you was to meet someone, then... It and it was just like a fucking bush garden. Yeah, then, you'd yeah. Like, scary. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about periods? In what way? Like having sex on period. Doesn't bother me. Periods don't bother you. Doesn't bother do you me. Do think periods bother men in general? Uh, I think some, it may do some. Yeah. But... Don't bother me. I'd still have sex with you on your period. Yeah. I just probably wouldn't go down on you. Yeah. But having said that, I have done. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I don't care. I don't care. As long as I ain't getting I blood in my mouth. I don't have my, my periods to be fair. Though. But as long as I ain't getting blood in my mouth, yeah. I'm alright. Yeah. So that's the only thing. Come out all red mouthed. Yeah. Like, <laughs> come down it. Right. Do you like makeup or no makeup? Uh, makeup. You have to say that really, don't you? Because me. <laughs> <laughs> if I had no makeup on, would you still say no makeup? Would you st would you say no makeup? I like the makeup look. Yeah. I like the makeup look. I don't. But I, do men like the makeup look? Yeah, I, do, I think they do. I think they do. Like, like not too much though. Still makeup though. Yeah. Whether it's not, you know, there's people like Alicia Keys who doesn't wear who don't wear any makeup. Yeah. Um. But I, so that, you know, compared to that and someone who wears just light makeup, someone's still wearing light makeup, so they're still wearing makeup, so yeah. it's still a makeup look. Yeah. I've, yeah, I prefer makeup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like girls making the first move? Yeah. Why? Because then you know they want it. Which then is more it you, like, does it, does it like put your doubts in ease, do you think? Yeah, it's more like. Okay, I'm ready to go. 
Yeah. Yeah. Right, well, let's fucking do it then. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you ain't got fanny about for a bit. Yeah. Like, you know, oh, they are, oh, they aren't they? Like, they're trying it on and yeah. stuff like that. You know, you just, you, it's just like it cuts all that shit out and you, you get down to it. Uh, um, what do you think about going to a strip club? What do I think about it? Yeah. In what way? <laughs> I mean, I think about it, would I go? Yeah, or yeah. do you think about a strip club? What's wrong with it? Nothing. What's wrong with a strip club? Nothing. No, I don't think anything's wrong no, with exactly. it. No, exactly. I don't think anything's wrong with the strip club either. But yeah, so. Um, the only issue, well, yeah, there's no issue with it. No. The strip club. So you'd go, tell me you were going, huh? get a dance. No, no, no. <laughs> no I'm the only, the, the only, I think the only bad thing about it is, is if you're then looking for more. Yeah. That's when it becomes bad. Yeah. But going in, I don't think it's an issue. No. Like, Best way to tell a guy is not interested. Outright, just lay it out. Like literally, I am not interested. No, no, no. the best way to for like. So for a girl, what is the best way that we can tell that a guy is not interested? They're oh, not gonna the, say it. Oh, what's the best way you can tell a guy is not interested? Yeah. If they don't make any effort. So like zero effort. Yeah, if they don't make effort, they're not interested. Simple, simple. So if they're they, making effort, they're interested. Yeah. So if you were just like, I don't know, like give me an example. <sighs> when you've not been interested. When I've not been interested. Like compare. You like, just don't message back. You just don't text back. You don't ring back. You'll, or you will, but it will be so like, oh, I better fucking message this person back. And it'll be so short and just, you won't, yeah, there won't be, you won't be chomping at the bit to see them again or trying to organise to see them again. Or, yeah. Um, you won't be constantly ringing them or texting them or, do you know what I mean? You'll just, it'll be kind of left and just... Yeah. You'll, you'll just want it to... As a man, you'll just want it to go away. So it's like, you don't want to do the dirty work. You just want them to like, oh, you dumped me. Like, I'm trying to... You're trying to, like, get away from it. Or do you still want the relationship because you want the sex, or but you're just not interested in them? Um, I think once you've if you've got the sex and once you've got the sex, if you're not interested at that point, you won't be bothered about going back. Oh. You'd only be bothered about going back if you were really desperate. Yeah. Because um, I feel like as the longer you go without it yeah the lower your standards will get okay so your standards will drop over time yeah based on how long yeah based on how long you haven't had sex for yeah so whereas you can be if you just had sex the day before you're like right i ain't said enough nothing less than 10 out of 10 <laughs> and as a month two month three month four months go by and you ain't had yeah. nothing you think, right i better, I better <laughs> start considering these fives you know <laughs> let's bring out these fives <laughs> So yeah, and then, so then obviously yeah, as you go going down, you're going to get worse and worse, yeah. and then eventually you will end up sleeping with someone, and at that point, you will then reevaluate your yeah. life and then give it right. I ain't doing this no more. And then you'll just be like, yeah, that was a, that was a one time thing. I ain't interested. And then yeah. You, then you'll then you'll just try and cut cut it out, and then so you the messaging will start. Say a ghost. Like, yeah, yeah, ghost. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That was an easier way ghost around him. it. Ghosting someone. But. Because we, we, we ain't going to want to say, look, it ain't working, I'm not interested. Because we've already done what we've wanted to do. Yeah, so, then, what, so there's guilt there. Yeah, a little bit. Because you feel like, oh, no, I'm look, I'm using her. Yeah, So if exactly. I act not interested, then she might just go away. Yeah, or if I kind of hold back a bit, yeah, what it men gives don't her realize. more time to meet other people, and then she might meet someone else and move on, and then it's like, right, Men sweet. don't realise that the ghosting just makes girls want them more. Oh, really? And then, so, like... It's like what you want, you can't have, and it, then you become that bad boy image. Right. And so the, the whole dynamic of that is like a disaster. Right, okay, I get it. So. I better not ghost girls anymore then. No, so you better not. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all your questions. Right, better message these girls back. <laughs> no more questions? Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay, no more then. No more. Sweet. <laughs> So that was my questions for Mike and we will be coming back with another 
one of my ask me questions. Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> Definitely. That'd be good. I think there's some questions that you can answer. Yeah. So don't forget to subscribe and like this video and comment below if you've got any questions for us. And we will see you soon.